Hey YouTube, it's Mike Peng Gangster and today I'm bringing you guys a very, very interesting video because today I'm going to make you guys a lot of coins if you do exactly what I'm going to tell you to do, okay? So today is one of those days I'm actually going to tell you what to go buy and you're going to make lots of coins doing this, okay? So there's not many creators out there that tell you buy, buy right now, buy this card. I'm going to tell you exactly what cards to buy, what price to buy them and you're going to have to do it today, tomorrow. You're going to have to do it as fast as possible because the amount of money that you're gonna make is gonna be a lot, okay? I've done this in the past. People made a lot of money me showing you this. Now, before we do get into that, I'm just basically showing you my account here. I ended up selling my Fofanas. Uh, I ended up selling before uh, before the match, so that's why you only see 265. I also sold Malin for 120. I ended up losing money on Philip Anderson. Sold him for like 67K, uh, don't worry about it. I still have all my other uh, investments uh, still sitting down. Of course, I'm not selling those at the moment. Uh, of course, I am waiting for the. Uh, I am basically waiting for uh, for them to go up a little bit more because they're playing next week, right? And, and, unless uh, I want to get I want to get rid of Lamella and Miranda. I only have one of each, which I may even gamble and keep both of them um, just to see uh, the outcome. If they would win their match, how high would they go? You know, I may do that just to take a little jump, uh, a little risk, right? And you could also see that uh, I've already started buying um, what I'm going to tell you guys to buy as fast as possible. And that is 89 rated cards, okay? Now, when you look at the 89 rated cards that I bought, I bought them all under 37,000, okay? Now, I so far was only capable of buying like a little over 20 something of them, okay? But you have to understand one thing, okay? We haven't had a... Uh, icon sbc this week because we had the arrow sbc okay so what's going to happen is that this weekend most likely we're going to get the icon sbc like we always do right uh well I, the way we always do we usually always get it uh every week but this week was skipped because we had the arrow one the player picks now the 89 rated drop massively and i'm going to show you this okay 89s i'm going to show you everything okay um, actually, you know what? Let's get in straight into the 89 so you guys could see exactly uh, what I'm talking about here so you guys could get an idea, okay? So let's get into Kimmich. Uh, we'll talk about the RTTFs and all that other stuff afterwards. Let's just straight in to get to the what to buy instantly because you guys are going to make a killing and I'm going to show you why you're going to make a killing. So for example, let's just refresh the page uh, because this price hasn't uh, gone up or anything. It's 37,000. Now I was sniping mine for 37 and under, but even if you're buying them at 37K, you're making a lot of coins, okay? So let's look at, actually, I don't really want to see the last 14 days. I want to see, uh, I want to show you something over here. Okay, so January, okay? The beginning of January, pretty much, like over here, okay? You can see the lowest uh, Kimmich was at the beginning of January was 36,000 coins, pretty much, okay? Now, every time some sort of like repeatable icon SBC came out, the 89s went back up to the 40, 44, 45, even spiking all the way to the 50,000s, okay? Now, the 50K is more rare, of course, uh, but the 45, 45,000, 43 to 45K is very, very common for these cards. We just had an Icon SBC uh, the week before and we saw them go to like 44, 45,000. Now, they're back down to 37K and you could be sniping them easily for under 37. As you can see, the ones I got are a lot of them that I got and I ended up getting under 37,000 coins, okay? So I do apologize for the phone for ringing. Um, so... Let's say, for example, they go back up to 45K, okay? Just, which most likely will happen when an Icon SBC comes out, especially that the Icons SBC that are gonna come out uh, are gonna be most likely even better than the other ones because, for example, we've been getting the 89 uh, plus uh, Prime or World Cup Icon, but you need to understand something that as the game advances, they're gonna add even probably Team of the Year Icons in them, and they're also probably gonna uh, higher the uh, minimum rating which could become a 90 91 prime icon minimum or they could also come out with a prime icon player pick so as you could see whatever sbc comes out as an icon it's just going to be a better version of of the sbc so what's going to happen is that it's going to be a lot of people doing them so these i rated cards like 89 rated right now are going to be in demand and they're going to 
basically are going to make you a killing because if you're buying your cards at 37k after sacks selling them at 45k you're making almost six thousand per card that's if you're buying them exactly at 37 like i saw i told you guys you could be sniping them as low as 35k like i did some of them okay you could be making probably even six seven thousand per card that's if they only go to 45 we seen them go to 50k okay not too long ago beginning of february that's just not too long ago that was like a month ago not even yeah basically a month ago we seen them go to fifty thousand coins okay and we seen them also last week spike at one point um you see march 5th of year they were forty four thousand, but they spiked around 46 47k so the opportunity for an icon sbc to come out this weekend is is is, is huge is there's a very big possibility that it will come out because ea has been doing this pretty much all year long so they're going to keep on doing it because it brings them money right but this is what also makes you guys money if you buy in on the right time and right now before buying rttfs or buying the uh the foot fantasies and all that stuff you need to jump to the 89s 89s is where the money is at right now because of the factor that uh like i said they're they're the lowest they have been since january okay so it's a no-brainer put all your coins like all your coins into 89s everything you have a million coins you buy a million coins worth of 89s you have five million coins you buy five million coins of 89s you are gonna make a killing simple as that okay so that's that's what i'm telling you guys right now if you want to make money go buy 89s and buy them right away snipe them do do it as fast as possible before the icon sbc comes out don't worry if you have to wait three four five days for it it's coming out icon sbc will be coming out don't not to worry about that okay so the other thing today we ended up getting zambrata so foot sheriff had a leak that a sbc look there's other leaks too but there was an sbc zambrata that was coming out and of course we ended up getting that that zambrata that came out so the zambrata uh where is it man where's the zambrata there it is so we ended up getting the zambrata which this is a very good card you could also play him as a left back if you want Let's actually go to Footbin so you guys could actually see the. Uh, actually, let's go. Up, let's go on this one because I'm going to show you that page afterwards. Let's go to Footbin real quick here. Let's show you guys uh, the SBC Zambrata. How much it's coming up to? Because I want to show you. Let me just shut off something real, real quick over here, so I don't lag or anything. So, anyways. The Zambrato one is coming out. There's also the 84 times five, which I don't think it's good price because you're most likely, you're not gonna get what you want in those type of packs, but you could go ahead and gamble, but that's besides the Zambrato point right now. So the Zambrato one is coming out to about a little under 600K. Now that's exactly pretty much how much the uh, Zambrata is going on the market, if I'm correct. Let's just see real quickly. Yeah, he's going for about this tells you the SBC price. I want to see his price on the market. It's about 600K. So you're getting packs in return. Is it a good value SBC? We've seen it all year long. When they come out with Icon SBCs, they try to price them exactly how the cost they are on the market, right? So based on the fact that you're getting some packs in return, is it a good SBC? I guess it's a fair SBC. I never like to say these are good SBCs because you do have to put in... Uh, a lot of fodder or even sometimes buy some stuff that you're missing to be able to complete these things right uh so it's 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 never a great thing unless it's like the best of the best uh cards right the ones that just basically enter your team and never leave right is zamprata at that level he's pretty much close to it uh there's a lot of good fullbacks this year so uh is he a necessary card to have no is he a good card hell yeah he's a very very good card and the fact that he could play right back left back it's very good i know a lot of people are disappointed with the links with the icon links this year but not to worry these guys get full cam and by the time uh we advance in the year it doesn't really matter if you have full cam on your team man once you start having all i rated cards in your uh in your squads um the, the the chemistry doesn't really matter no more because that's all pretty much just to boost their chemistry style but at this point who really, really cares right so anyways that is that there's also the 84 times five, which is a cool SBC. I just don't think it's worth. Uh, I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, if you have fodder in your club and you want to go ahead and do one, go ahead and do one. But um, don't be like, don't be disappointed with what you get because we've seen this pack before. It's repeatable three times in one day. I think uh, it's coming up to like 
over for almost 60,000 coins. It's expensive. It's expensive. Don't forget to do the teamwork one. That one's good. 6K, you're getting a uh, 25K pack. That's very, very good. Again, if you guys want to gamble, go for it. I'm going to probably end up doing one too because I do have some extra fodder in my club. So might as well take a little chance to see if I hit one of these cards, right? One of these, uh, not the RTF, but the other ones, the Foot Fantasy. But before we get into that, let's just get into real, real quick the comments of the last last video because uh i always do this every time uh, i basically have a video of the uh nightly update i read some of the comments and basically reply directly uh in the video so we have one year from luke fam 3150 he says don't normally leave comments been watching you since day one have you uh i have to say keep doing what you're doing mike Loving your content, took your advice a few uh, a few videos ago, changed the press after possession loss to press on every touch, been a big change, managed to get to Division 1, best Uber to watch for a while. I love seeing comments like this, not because it makes me feel good, but I just love it because I love seeing people that actually uh, get better results with what I show them, okay? So, man, it, it's, it's nice to see people that actually use the tactics that I show them sometimes. Uh, you have to understand in this game, when you have bad gameplay and you use like pressure on every touch, it will help you a lot. And if you're also having bad gameplay, if you activate forward runs over direct passing, it will also help you a lot because it's going to basically make your team make those runs that they're not doing because they're standing still because the gameplay is just not responding. So I'm happy for you, Luke. Hopefully you continue and best of luck in your packs, right? Uh, we have soccer is life here. Hey, Mike, I invested in Alaba, got three of them at 995k. <laughs> Bro, sell them and sell them quickly. Amount should sell before game or wait for Madrid to look like. Look, Madrid is going to go through, I think. Okay, I, I just don't see Liverpool uh, beating Madrid by three goals. I know they won um, against Manchester uh, United 7-0. I just don't see them doing the same thing to uh, Real Madrid. I would take the profit. Right now, your Alaba is like a lot of money. You're making a lot of money off every uh, every single one, especially if you have three of them. You're probably making close to a million coins, right? To all three of them, probably even more. So I, w I would just take the money, man. Like it's it's good profit. Like just take the money, go buy 89s. Go make a lot more money with 89s. 89s are 100% guaranteed in the next couple of days. Like I would say probably the next four or five days max, uh, they're gonna go skyrocket 45k and up. That's what I think because there's gonna be a good icon SPC coming out. That's what I think. That's my prediction. Um, Dalo, Dalo5261. Love what you're doing to grow your channel. Thanks, buddy. Like I said, I love seeing uh, encouragement uh, comments like this. You guys, you know, what motivates me is actually interacting with your people. So I like seeing people that uh, leave comments. I'm, 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 you know, I'm recommending people to leave comments in this particular video too, so I could respond to you guys. Let let's let's have like. A, a conversation between ourselves. You can ask me anything you want, and also. We have like this thing, a little thing going on where every episode, like the next one is going to be on Friday night because this is every Wednesday, Friday, uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. But every time the new episode is, is on, I, I'm going to reply to some of the comments. Of course, if I start getting a lot of comments, I'm only going to pick like three or four and reply to those ones. And since at the moment I don't have many, we're going to go ahead and just answer all of them. Okay. So we also have Patreon, Patreon, if I'm saying it right. Got Capo Villa from the Aero SBC. Is he better than Team of the Year? Cool. Well, look, Capo Villa right now, if you got the uh, World Cup version, of course, not the new one that came out, it, it's one of the best ones. So, yeah, he's definitely better than Team of the Year Cole. But Team of the Year Cole looks to be like a pretty good one too. But uh, don't worry, Captain Villa is definitely a hell of a pick uh, to get. Dragon. Oop, you sold your Anderson. So, as you can see, I did sell. Unfortunately, I lost, but it's okay. I only had one of them, so it's going to happen. Look, whenever you would buy uh, investments, there are going to be some that you're going to lose. Like, remember my Firmino I ended up losing 200K? It's going to happen. But I'm also making a lot of money with other investments. So, like, I made money with my Fofanas this week and Malin. Um, I'm going to be making I'm making a lot of money off Barella and Raspadores. And I have a lot of those. So, no matter what, I'm making money. I am going to have losses here and there like everybody else that basically is, is going to be investing. It's just the way the game works. You have to basically just forget your losses and try, just concentrate on the next investment this is why i'm telling everybody I'm, I'm basically telling you right now if you want free money get the 89 kimmage get the 89 uh whatever 89 rated card go get them they're 37 and under just snipe them all day long until the sbc comes out and all of a sudden you, you're going to be making all kinds of money depending on what you have right so anyways 
let's get into the RTTFs, okay? So I told people that uh, sell before the matchup. Of course, I ended up selling my, um, I ended up, where's, where's Fofana? I ended up selling my Fofana for like 265, okay? Which I ended up getting them for like 235, give or take. So I ended up making a little bit of money off them. Of course, he won the matchup. He went to like almost 350K. I would've made more money. I just don't take those type of risks. Uh, Malin, of course, in the other end, I sold mine for 120. I ended up making over 10,000 profit off him because I ended up paying 103, right? So this is where sometimes, you know, like it pays off for selling the card before the game, right? Because I would have lost all kinds of money with Malin. Of course, I would have made all kinds of money with Fofana, but it evens out, right? Unfortunate for uh, Philip Anderson, Lazio, I don't know what happened yesterday. They were playing very, very good in the first half. Then they got scored at the, the end of that first half there. And all of a sudden, it just went down the drain and they ended up losing the match. So I, I honestly don't know what happened with them. The, just very, very bad game uh, for them. Uh, for people that invested in Lamella and um, and uh, Miranda, where's Miranda, man? 76K. Let me just refresh this page. I want to see exactly what they are. Okay, so Miranda went all the way down to 71 and a half. Okay, that's weird. And Lamella is at 42. Look, these cards are just dropping. I have two of them. I'm going to keep, I'm going to gamble on them and just keep them in my club to see what happens with the matchup. Uh, they're just not, they're just not rising. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, if if you have them right now and you're fed up with holding to them, I would say just either take the profit if you had some profit off it. If you don't, um, might as well just take that little bit of loss and jump into the 89s. That's going to make you guaranteed money. Uh, unfortunately, these Mirandas and Lamella don't seem to be moving much. Maybe before their matchup, they're going to move, but it just doesn't seem like they're they're moving much. You know, I, 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 unfortunately, that's the way it is. For people that invested in uh, Lucas Mora, um, I would sell right away, man, because I, I don't know about Spurs uh, going into the matchup, but don't think don't take a gamble on a card like this because this card would if this card loses will would basically drop like 200k, not 200k. Sorry, my my, my apology. Will drop over 100 half the price for sure. So w watch out with this card. Uh, if you're making profit right now, just go ahead and sell. Of course, for the other ones that are come out, the other games that are come out next week, for example, like the Barella, see it's 400k. My Raspador, who is Raspador, he's 286. I'm still holding on them. I still believe they're going to go higher. I believe Barella will reach at least the 420s, 430s, probably even close to 450. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for him, hoping to get for him. Would I be buying these cards right now? Um, I don't know, man. I don't like telling people to buy these cards at a high price. Like Raspador is 286. I bought mine for 235. Okay, I have two of them. Um, they already went up like 50,000 coins. Can you still go over 300k? Yes. Would you make money if you snipe them at 280? Yes. Is it guaranteed? No. So, look, if you could get them under 280, you want to take that shot, buying one or two, go for it. I, I, I say right now, I would concentrate on the 89 rated uh, fodder. That's where the money is at for this week if you want to make money. Afterwards, uh, there's going to be, of course, uh, potential money with the uh, foot fantasies, okay? The foot fantasies are going out of pack uh, this Friday because Team 2 is coming in, right? So we have some of the leaks of Foot Sherry over here, for example, where we have uh, we have the Lima SBC, we have the Alaran, uh, we have, uh, what was the other guy that we had? We had Gomez, that's how Foot Finals is going to look like. Where's the Gomez? We have Court, we also have, where is Gomez? Gomez is going to, it looks like Gomez, there's a possibility Gomez is a... Um, a player pick SBC? I'm not sure if this is the way it's supposed to be. Is a arrow pick SBC? That's what they're. That's what Foot Sheriff is saying. So okay, whatever. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. Uh, of course, we have Okocha. We have you know we have the arrow ones that are being leaked. Uh, Park Yi Sun. We have Di Natale. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna want to have that one. Uh, team of the week kind of shit. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, um, foot fantasies, okay? For people that want to be investing in foot fantasy, look, I personally believe the ones that are 100% going to give you money uh, and long-term, Miller, 100%, because he is going to become an 87 rated most likely, and his card will be worth over 23000 That's my prediction on him. So, of course, this is long-term investment, but if you start buying him now, uh, at 16k, if, especially if you're sniping them under 16k, you're just guaranteed to make profit, right? The cards that I like, okay, that I I think are gonna go up and you're gonna make your money. Fernando looks pretty good for a cheap card, 
I think 48k for an 88 rated, you can't go wrong. This card is gonna at least be an 89, most likely even uh, a 90. So it's gonna go over 60k most likely. So you are making money off Fernando, almost guaranteed if you're buying them at 48k. Especially if you try to snipe these cards at like 47, 46, you just guaranteed to make money off these cards. Okay. The other one I like, I like Screenyard. I, I I like Screenyard. I like them even at 220, 225. He's 216. I guess people are going crazy with the 85 times, uh, 84 times five. Uh, so they're selling out their, their stuff because these things are dropping. Look, um, 216, I think this is money. I think this is goes up. I think there's there's just no way in hell this card doesn't make you money, okay? Uh, Delhi Alley, it's the same thing like a Miller, for example. He's 27K, 88s go for over 30,000 pretty much all week long, especially when this SBC, they go for over 30,000. Getting like a Delhi Alley or investing like long-term Delhi Alley, uh, especially if he's 25k it's just guaranteed to make money man like it, it, this card is going to be at least an 88 rated right most likely even an 89 right so you're just making money with these small cards like this uh i like isaac i like isaac because for me isaac is actually a really good card i look at isaac he's the four star five star weak foot he's 275k uh he's, he's a big guy if i if i if i'm correctly i just want to see how tall he is i think he's like six feet something right i'm pretty sure he's like six feet something right he's six feet four uh, he's got already good dribbling, so he's, he's not someone that's too conkly, you know what I mean? Like, he's 73 balance. You put something like an engine on this guy, this guy just looks awesome, right? Where's the engine over here? Where's the engine? Oh, man, I don't even know where the engine is. Am I blind? Oh, engine. Like, if you put an engine on him, if this guy gets upgraded a couple of times, like, to a 91. This is a sick card. And the fact that this card is only going for 270k or whatever it is, uh, for some reason I can't go back yeah he's going for 275k imagine you snipe this for under 270 I don't see how you don't make money on this card same thing like I said with Screenyard I like Screenyard I like Isaac I like Miller for fodder investment and Holly for fodder investment I like Fernando because I think he's actually usable uh, I, again I do believe he's gonna get like 89 90 easily um, so this card is gonna go over 60k uh, the expensive cards I wouldn't I wouldn't put my money on them I think Laurentis is, is a sick card with a couple uh, upgrades, he could become one of the best center mids in the game for sure. How uh, high would his price go? This is for big budget people that are willing to put their money uh, on big cards. I think, yeah, there's possibilities for this cards to go up, but I just don't like putting my money in big cards that are worth over a million coins. You know, I just, I just don't feel like those are, are uh, great investments to tell people uh, to take, right? Uh, Fabian looks decent. Uh, again, like... See, like these guys are expensive for 85, 86 is where Miller is only 16K. So I, would, I wouldn't I would go over these two. I would definitely go with the Miller one, like I said. Like th those those are my advice for you guys for today. Hopefully you guys take my advice on the 89s right now. And we're going to see each other this Friday night. And uh, again, we'll see what happens. I don't think the SPC will come out by Friday night. I most likely think that the SPC icon is going to come out throughout the weekend. But you might as well get your 80, 89 rated fodder now so when the weekend comes when the sbc uh, icon comes out you know you're making coins okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys friday night have a good day guys bye bye